All right, let's talk about something that's quietly reshaping our world autonomous vehicles and the tricky question of criminal liability when AI is in the driver's seat. Self-driving cars used to be pure science fiction but now they're pulling up in driveways and navigating highways in real life, it's impressive. But here's the big question. When an autonomous car gets into an accident, who gets the blame? Traditionally, if you're behind the wheel, you're responsible. Simple. But what if there's nobody behind the wheel? What if it's just AI running the show? Is it even possible to hold a machine accountable? See, our legal system is built on human intent with someone being reckless or was it just a fluke? That's how we decide guilt. But AI is different. It's not emotional. It doesn't intend to do anything. So does the old system even apply? Let's break down the major angles. First, the vehicle owner. Most self-driving cars today aren't fully autonomous. They're level two or level three, which means you still need to pay attention, hands ready, just in case. If the car alerts you and you ignore it and then there's a crash, you're still on the hook. Even if your car is smarter than your laptop, the law still expects a human to step in when needed. But when we hit level five, no pedals, no steering wheel, the car just drives itself all the time, this shifts. Then, the issue moves away from the owner to others involved in making and maintaining the vehicle. Second, the manufacturer. If an accident happens because of a hardware failure, let's say faulty sensors or brakes, then it's the manufacturer's problem, same as with any defective product. They promise a safe ride and if their tech fails, they're accountable. Some car companies are already saying publicly, if our full self-driving cars crash, we're responsible. Third, the software developers. This is where it gets messy. What if the crash wasn't a hardware issue but a line of code gone wrong? Autonomous vehicles run on millions of lines of software and no one can predict every weird thing that might happen on the road. If the AI makes a decision no one expected, who do you blame? The coder? The company? It's a legal gray area that's only going to get trickier as AI gets smarter and more autonomous. Now here's a wild idea that's gaining traction. Electronic personhood. Basically, treating advanced AI like a legal entity, sort of the way a corporation is its own person. That way, the AI could have its own insurance fund, or assets, and pay out damages if it causes harm. But this opens up huge ethical and philosophical questions. If a machine can have rights and responsibilities, does that change what it means to be human? Where do we draw the line? In the end, as AI and autonomous vehicles start taking over our roads, we're going to have to rethink what justice and responsibility look like. Soon, figuring out blame after a crash won't just be about who did what. It'll be about untangling a web of technology, law, and honestly, brand new ideas about personhood. So, next time you see a self-driving car, remember, it's not- Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.